everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, you'll notice that the timeline has advanced slightly. Now, what I did between the last episode and this episode is I decided to go on a milk run. There was a half skull mission that was a capture base mission, but it was one of those missions where you're supposed to ba babysit the three pilots. And I thought, well, that would be a great one to just do a milk run half skull. And that turned out okay. Um, the Zoria almost got uh, taken out. I got hit by uh, one of those rocket pack Urbies, and it went got got through to the um, internal structure, but didn't destroy it, which was good, thank God. Now, um, all that being said, the turrets that we were up against were actually relatively difficult: large lasers, uh, SRMs, um, ultras, ultra twos, and an AMS. And most of the mechs that I had on my side were like had missile launchers. So plus my mechs. Or my um, my Talos and my Zoria had a lot of missiles, so it took me a while to pull those turrets down, and then finally take on the four Urban Mechs at the end. But we managed to get it done, no problem. And what we ended up getting out of that was actually shocking, because I decided to do a 50-50 split, and take a couple hundred thousand dollars in payment, or a couple hundred thousand in C bills in payment, and 313 salvage. Now the salvage ended up being, I took an advanced AMS, an Ultra 2 auto cannon plus the ammo. So that wasn't too, too bad. And then we got a standard fusion core. We got 19 heat sinks, standard heat sinks in one bundle, which I was completely shocked at, but there was 19 of them. Um, and then we got five urban mech parts. So uh, if we go to the mech bay real quick, I was able to slap together an urban mech. Now I haven't built this yet because just to be able to get it refitted up and running is going to be like 300,000. But it is a mech that we can get into, into play depending on the situation it's in. It's primitive, right? It's got all these rocket packs. But we have, we get a fair number of them to start. And if we play around with this a little bit, like if we go to the internals, drop on regular armor. Oh, right, not enough free slots. We've got to put a 140 in core in this thing. Regular armor. Uh, standard fusion core, which we picked up along with this thing. We need to put in uh, four more, or sorry, three more heat sinks. We can pull out the small chem laser. If we put in endo steel, right, we have the opportunity to turn this into a missile platform. And then once we start getting these, this will give us a couple of extra tons to play around with. But at this base point, it's still like 400,000. Now, this doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot to us at this point. So um, we do have a few things that we could do with this. We, I mean, we could turn it into a Thunderbolt carrier. We could put a Thunderbolt 10 on it. Um, we've got two tons of Thunderbolt 10 ammo, so that's a 60 pinpoint damage. And then if we, you know, get some more stuff here, we can add some add some uh, points to the armor, or we could put an advanced A, or sorry, not regular AMS ammo, but eventually get enough weight to put an advanced AMS in this thing. Uh, the other option was I was thinking about the Griffin and maybe pulling the LRMs off of that and putting SRMs on it and dropping in four LRM fives across the board here, or even you know a bunch. I I could get six LRM fives in here if I if we have the weight and turn this into a long range boat and just have it sit back and fire at a distance. So this is an option for the future. Um, it's just going to sit here for now. We, like I said, we need to focus on getting C bills. So while we were waiting for the Hunchback to come back, I figured, well, we got a little bit of time, so we jumped systems. And it worked out perfectly because the system we jumped to was a half skull planet, 15 days away, which was what it would take to get the Hunchback fixed. So now it's fixed and in the battle. Um, I mean, it's not how I would like it to be, but it is another mech. Um, it's got full armor, so it's a, it's a good um, target to put in the front line and have them shoot for it. So that's what we're going to plan on doing with this guy. Now, um, also, when we get, when I got here, I had a look at the command center, which was awesome. We had a, we got a lot of great missions that we can take here. So we got a bunch of half skull here for Rasselhag, which is what we want to do. Got a couple of one skull missions here. I don't know about doing this one. We might, um, it's solo duel. I don't think we really have the mech to do this with, but I mean, there's a possibility. And then we have a one and a half skull, um, defend base, which, which could turn out really well too. I, I could, it would really depend. But I think today's mission, we're going to go this route. We're going to take um, the uh, defend base mission. Um, this should turn out well. Once again, this is just so we can get some salvage and sea bills. Um, there's not, this, this is not like a lot of, well, you know what? Maybe we should go this route. Hmm. 
Hollow Broadcasting Facility. Launching Assault. And Defenders. Um, yeah, I mean... I don't know if we've got the... the you know what? Hmm. For today... Let's take this one today. We'll take this one, see how it turns out. Um, and then... So Hungry Wolves is probably... Um, pirates. So let's we'll take this one today. Actually, we're going to go back, though. I want to take a quick look at um, our pilots here. So let's go to the barracks real quick. See what our skills are like. So the, they've changed some of the skills here. Now, I think it's under the guts tree. There's another skill for vehicle pilots. So if you haven't seen the new version of Rogue Tech, they've changed a few things. Um, so in the mech bay, there is another bay for... Uh, where is it now? Yeah, right here. Mech, vehicle, and battle armor bays. So we've got bays for each of these now. So that's where the battle armor would be. That's where the vehicles would be. So... Kind of cool. We got a, a, its own battle armor bay, which is kind of neat. So you could have a whole bunch of battle armors if you wanted to, um, and drop them. So that's kind of cool. Um, so they, yeah, they removed the, removed the little button here. But then on the pilots, they've they've changed always the the icons. Oops, I always do that. Um, they've changed the little icon on the pilots up here to mech and vehicle icons, which is a little weird. And I guess I don't know if there's like things for battle armor or what, but. Since these icons aren't on the actual mech bays, they don't really mean anything anymore, right? So I don't mind the old um, M MV, like mech and vehicle tags on each person, but I guess it's just to kind of show you. Ah, whatever. So granted, we've got to have a look at him. Uh, why don't we have anything in our first slot? That's bizarre. I guess it doesn't really matter. Hey. So yeah, they've got another choice here, I believe. Um, of course, we can't see it because we don't have a pilot that's got a chance to go up. But um, there's another another choice here, which is kind of cool. Um, it's for vehicle pilots, and I can't remember what, exactly what it was, but there is yeah. something there. And yeah, you're not going to be able to have the ability to get out there. So. Training complete. Okay, uh, let's have a quick look here. So, granted, we got points for piloting. And I think they've... Yeah, so they've added a little bit of skills here for um, vehicle pilots. So they get some use out of the piloting skill. So it's uh, bonus chance, like bonus movement and stuff for vehicles and that. So, um, yeah, they've got a lot of interesting new stuff now. Um, we're going to hold off on the piloting... And save it, I think, and go for gunnery on him. And Better. Griff is not doesn't have anything. You don't have anything. I've already spent yours, and you are ready to go. Okay, so command center. Let's get into battle. We got five pilots, and five uh, mechs and vehicles. Let's just get in there and do this. Max salvage. It should probably not even cover our drop costs, but we'll find out. Now they've changed this too, and this bugs me. The the how it bubbles forward like that. I mean, I'm, I'll just have to get used to it, but it says down here what the slots are. So this is battle armor and vehicle slot. This is battle armor, vehicle slot, and then these are mech, battle armor, and vehicle. So, I, I mean, if you were going to do it, why not use the same icons as you're using up here? That would make more sense to me, but eh, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, okay, so you, you, you. We need to swap you two around. Then we're bringing in the griffin, the cephalus, and the hunchback and let's do this command interface initiated all right here we go defend this factory yeah yeah so they're coming from down this end Curitan units Curitan units so we might get some good stuff here just got to worry about where um their reinforcement drops are going to come from so normally when I play this, I don't like to go too far away from the base at the start. It's really, it's a tough choice of what you want to do with this. Because um, you've got one, um, two, three, and four possible avenues of, of approach. And I've actually had enemies spawn down here too. 
so it's tough like if you're far like because you're on a hill and it's like like it's rounded like this it's hard to get line of sight on a lot of uh the enemy if they spawn like here and like back here um and then they're you're fighting guys over here it's impossible to get back over there to help out so it's really tough on this one uh but we're gonna drop i think we're gonna go here now i know they've got the ability to select and move off of rough terrain now but if we don't have to start on them start if we don't have to start on rough terrain we want to avoid it at all costs never seen anything like this before i have what are those trees what a glorious spot all right combat. so um i want to talk a little bit about difficulty rating uh because there was a, a comment a, a few episodes back um, you, discussing what like why we got pasted and why we got all those enemies in on us like we did and the thought was because I have it was a half skull but because I've got my difficulty rating set to a variance of two that there was an opportunity for the enemy to um, basically be a one and a half skull mission no I guess is the way to put it and in a way that's kind of correct so the difficulty variance um in their settings uh sets the skull difficulty on the planet for contracts a variance in rate ra in range of half skulls so if you've got it set to um two then it could be a skull difference on either side so we're since we took a half skull mission or we are a half skull planet the difficulty would be half skull to one and a half skull in the actual um Commander mission selection so i could get a one and a half skull mission like choosing the mission oh, no. or a half skull mission or whatever and you just choose it so i chose a half skull mission right so in theory the competition in the actual mission should be half a skull now the way rogue tech works from what i understand and this is oh, thanks no. to um, a youtuber called too technical um and even though i tried not to place myself down here I did so there's an ability here careful maneuvers confirm I should be able to move off there now nice Throttling up for what it works. nice uh, let's just drop it on this guy yeah. Die. so the way Rotec chooses the enemy for you it's there's a whole wide variety of ways that it can actually Dead choose spot. the enemy and, and what like difficulty you're gonna get in enemies uh, let's get up on here Go shooting, just running. so Got what it. ended up happening with me and that mission where I basically had three lances that were not half skull lance well I mean Two of them kind of were half skull lances, maybe one skull lances. Um, but the reason, Roger. what ended up happening was, so it's a battle mission, right? And because I'm playing with no reinforcements for my side, that's in my settings, I don't get any reinforcements. Um, and I'm also playing with difficulty Negative. by yeah, planet rating and not by unit rating. What ends up happening is the enemy rolls to see whether, the, like, based on my total value of my units, it rolls to see if it's going to get a support lance. So what it ended up happening with me is, I guess because I think at What's that time my you? my lance rating was one and a half skulls or something like that. So it the enemy rolled for a support you lance betcha. and it got it, right? It's like, yep. There's, a, there's, there's enough dollar value in this enemy, in me, to allow for that um, additional lance to show up. I'm gonna put some sensors down here too. Tell me what to shoot. So, it basically gave him a support lance. And then the mission itself had a chance for reinforcements. And it just so happened to roll reinforcements. So now I'm up against three lances, right? And then when Rogue Tech selects the actual units that are in the lance, it assigns a dollar value to that lance that it's going to generate. Yes, Commander. And then it says, okay, you have X amount of money to come up with units for your lance. Right? 
So go ahead and spend that money and come up with the units. Then it determines what um, what uh, force the lance belongs to. So in, I think in my case it was pirates. Um, so it says, okay, well, I can choose pirate units from this particular list. And then it looks at the list for the pirates and then chooses the units, right? But if for whatever reason it's choosing units it doesn't necessarily have to choose a unit that dollar value or less. Sometimes the dollar value for unit is higher. Like the Wolverine that we got with the health, with the health fire artillery, that's definitely not like a low value unit. But it will sometimes generate these units of higher value, but then says that's okay. And it sticks it in the lance. And then you can get these very rare occurrences where it will just generate units that are of, of higher value and you'll get a lance of all these units that are just higher value which is what we had with the first lance because they had a vindicator and the um the blackjack and everything of generally higher value right um then of course the other two lances they had they weren't that bad i mean we probably could have fought the other two lances and had no problem winning um but you know like i said it was just a fluke occurrence and they just ended up getting a really good roll, and there's like nothing I could do about it. So, I mean, it is what it is. And then you'll get those missions where it's like, it's like, you know, a, a two skull mission, and they end up fighting garbage, right? There's just like no tough opponents at all. So, I mean, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. Oh, they changed the, oh my God, they changed the Ultra 5 ammo to be 20 rounds instead of 15. I have extra rounds now. I just noticed that. Anyways, so that's yeah, that's kind of what happened, um, and I'm fine with it. I, I've learned now that it's like I actually kind of enjoyed that match, even though I got I'll pasted. Try. I kind of really enjoyed that um, unpredictability, where it's like you know you could die at any time, and I I, I just really enjoyed that. So um, hey. as much as I hated having to like rebuild my unit, now we're like in the poor house, but. That is the way it goes, right? Yep. When you're a mercenary unit. Alright, let's get into here. Let's see how these rifles do. Take a couple shots at this guy here. Uh, 47%. That ain't bad. Let's hope we hit. Now, we do less... Oh, we got APFS DSD. Not DU. That's not depleted uranium. So this regular rifle ammo does less damage to armor. I believe. Let's go this... Let's go this route, I think. So we'll go this route, see if we can pen first, and then... Fire the rifle. Sure. And the Narc Beacon, isn't that up now from... From, um... Why aren't you firing? Hello? Wow, that was so bizarre. It just didn't fire. One less I was going to say they upped the Narc Beacon ammo too. I guess we hit with everything. That's probably why I was doing a calculation or something. Wow, what a uh, what an entry for that um, for that hunchback, eh? Order. It's like, yeah, let me show you what I can do. I should just leave Taserface here to finish these guys. Okay, it's got on the spider. Okay, the ECM should jam these guys a l Oh, wait, we don't have an ECM. We yes, we do. Of course, ECM. Yeah, so we should have an ECM on these guys. Okay. All right, firing at this guy. Roger, Commander. Angle is good. Let's hope the reinforcements don't show up down here. I hear you. All right, Griff. Um, we got the speed, so let's move up. I'm I'm leaving. I'm hanging myself out to dry here. If they if the enemy shows up at different locations, but I think this I think we're okay here. I'm gonna leave this off. Kind of already got sensors down there anyway, so 
Nice. It'd be nice to pick up a Jenner if we when could. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Wield APC. Yeah, so, I mean, it was just like a the perfect storm of, you know, enemy. And I haven't had one of those battles in a long time. Now, I did, uh, tr at one point in time, back before they had the two different variants of skull battles, I did take a five skull mission. Um, and I can't remember who it was now, what playthrough it was. I thought I would just jump in to see what it was. It was a five skull mission against the clans. They had four, they had five lances. So they had their intro, like their first lance, they had two supporting lances, and then they got two lances in reinforcements. And there was like five dire wolves or something like that. It was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just depends on the roll, right? You might get a good roll, or you just might not. All right. Um, let's serum this guy. Actually, what's it? What is it on the spider? Not as good. Firing on this guy. Alright, little bit of damage. What are you up to? Whole lot of nothing, huh? Hey. You're just gonna sit here and take a shot at this guy. His torso's open, so... He's hoping for a crit, but not so lucky. That looked like a critical hit. Yeah, I didn't see any crit. Yeah, so the Zoria got two kills, two Urban Mech kills in that uh, that milk run I did. So, yeah, one of them was a was a full strength. Um, it was a full strength. Oh, crap. Really? Do they think they can hurt me? Ready for Much order. as I want to shoot this guy in the back. Eh, we're not gonna miss, are we? Probably. <laughs> We're gonna shoot at this guy, though. God, the chance to hit. Or do we put a do? We just put a narc on the uh, spider. I mean, we could try this. Let's try this and see what happens. Okay, did we hit him with the actual AC, or was that just with the narc? I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Okay, where are they landing? Right on the base, because of course they are. Where else would they land? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Arbiter. Wow, of course. Ripper. Now, where are those guys? They're on the other side of the base. Just when I got through with saying I don't like this because, you know, they could appear anywhere. At least they're just rippers. Uh huh. So they're on this side. Those guys landed on the base. They've got Arbiter, Mongoose, Arbiter. Oh, we got a chance to get an Arbiter out of this. And of course, he goes before me. I can't see him now. Because it won't let me move. Didn't knock me over, though. Well, Talos is going to fucking murder this guy. Actually, we should just all murder him. Okay, who's this? Jenner? It is. Wow, that was a charge attack against the vehicle. Okay, calling bullshit, how do you fucking charge a vehicle? What are you gonna do? Like, put your face down into the ground and they... I don't understand. They go on and on about how big a mech is compared to a vehicle. How do you charge it? Like, how? If the thing's not a skyscraper, you're not gonna charge into it and knock it over, like... Whatever. It's gotta end. It's gotta end. The insanity has to end. What now? What now? Can you kill the Rippers, do you think? Maybe you can kill this Jenner. 
Oh, that's actually a pretty good chance to hit. Copy. So let's move up there. Next turn, we'll go back out on those rippers over there. So we'll go after this guy. Unless we want to... That's pretty good damn chance to hit. Let's finish this guy off. He sacrificed himself for a couple of points damage. Battle armors. Mortars. Wait, how many guys do they have? Oh, that was part of the original unit. It just didn't, uh... Wait, where the fuck is it? Is it hidden? It's hidden. Because it's so small and stealthy. Which would make sense. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's get on this Jenner if we can. Can we? We can. Backstrike, here it comes. Full speed, sounds good. Mm hmm God, this thing is like a... I don't know, ostrich or turkey or some kind of craziness. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, what's your back armor like? Garbage. So we should be able to get a kill here. Oh, or we just strip both that arms off him. He's a stick. Doesn't mean he can't charge people, so we might as well make sure we kill him. Arbiter? Commander. Okay. Vigilance. Can we get... Okay. What's the chance on this guy? Oh, that's where he is right there. Intersphere standard. It's actually pretty good there. Going full throttle. Let's finish this Jenner off. Get the freak out of the battle here. So we got... Uh, yeah. Thought you were good, did you? All right. What can I do for you? All right. Get over here. Pedal to the metal. Let's go, Griff. AMS protected. Um, let's turn these guys off. Not really. Well, it is saving us a little bit of heat, but not much. Um, bolt on rockets. We're only gonna hit with five. How? This guy's got nothing on his back armor, so hopefully we hit with the large laser. Affirmative. Nope. Because why would we? We need to get rid of the large laser and put like, I don't know, something four mediums or something. <laughs> we don't have the hard points for it, but what do you need? it would be uh, a better fit, I think. Alright, let's see if this hunchback can do some destruction here. Yeah, baby! Oof, nice shot. I'm noticing the game is a little more stable now, too. Oh, somebody also recommended, too, uh, turning off vehicles in, um, um, in city maps. And I guess that's a setting in regular settings here. I thought it was, um, you know, uh, civilians evacuate cities. I know that's for blood and gore, which is what I have just because it just helps with rendering and stuff like that. But apparently I can turn off the vehicles for cities to speed up the battle. Good to go. Uh, which is good, because I'm going to have to remember to do that. Uh, now you... Can you get behind the Arbiter? You cannot. We can get a shot. When is this mongoose going? 12? Let's... Um, That's 44. That's a little better. Let's get in here. Moving out. Just means he's closer to me, but... Now his big gun is in this arm, I believe. So let's hope we take it. 
Uh, do we want to just blow this guy apart? Or try to? Let's see if we can get a, a quick smash on this guy and bring him down this turn. Hopefully setting him back a bit here. Okay, not bad. That hit something. Head hit. Okay. Short range missiles are out. Taser face. Okay, you go on eleven. When does our vehicle go? Eight. So if we're gonna kill the mongoose, we gotta do it now. Otherwise he's moving away. Um Let's do this and make this uh, Arbiter sweat a little bit. Okay, let's get the kill on this guy. We're going to leave the small... Ooh, that's a lot of heat. We went through fire, though. We can put the Rocket 10 on him. Is that going to be enough, though? I don't think so. Small X-Pulse, maybe? Let's try this. Nah, not enough to kill, but... Enough to make him drop a load in his pants, no that's for sure. Ah, I should have been more careful rather than running through the fire. Wasn't watching. Oof, what did you just kill? Did you shoot one of your own guys? I think he did. I think he shot one of his own guys. I have no idea what he shot though. Like I didn't see him hit a, a uh, another uh, copter or anything. What was that? A charge attack? No, come on. Guys, really? Really? The vehicle's gonna crash into the side of a mech? Oh man, really? Please stop. Or make it an option. Just make it an option to turn off melee. Here comes another... Yeah. We're, come, we're turning into brawl bots now. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Waiting for orders. Let's show them why it's a bad idea. <sighs> Fuck you. Got it. Man, we can't hit with that laser worth of squat. All out of short range missiles, Commander. All right, Stern boy. Uh, where's that arbiter? Right here. Can we get behind him? We certainly can. Location confirmed. But our heavy rifle is too close, I think. Oh, uh, so is the medium, really. Not going to stop us from firing it, though. Roger that. Hey. Okay, now you... Can we get... Yeah, we can. Let's get over here. Take a little bit of damage from the flames, but I'm okay with that. Let's finish this guy off. I Down. I mean, I get if that's really their best chance to hit them meleeing, but honestly, I don't know. It's every time they do it, it's suicide. I can understand maybe in medium me mech builds, face. but when one mech runs up into the fray of an in like the midst of an enemy and attempts to like melee and then just gets loses all its ability yeah. to evade any damage and then just gets shredded. Like, what's the point? Got it. Alright. Burning through our SRMs pretty quick here, though. Scored a Come on, bail out. Nah, he's Korean. He's not going to bail out. We're going to have to sick the Cephalus on him, then. I'm glad that they can't do a lot of damage to those buildings quickly. Okay, let's get into here. 
I'm not, I don't like the fact that we're doing a lot of damage to this guy from behind, but we got to drop them because we got to get over to the other side. I think we're going to go with everything. Try and kill this guy. Locking on. There we go. So we're clear on this side now. Tango down. Halfway through the enemy. We've got an Arbiter over here. Now, I thought there was one more, but I guess there isn't. Ooh, I think maybe he had a back shot on me. I'm here. Didn't matter though. Okay, let's get on this arbiter. As as I can. Now, does he have an AC? I think it's an AC ten, right? It's hard to tell. Get some damage in. I know the armor arbiter is only thirty-five tons, but. You know, it's a nice fire support platform. Put a rack five, like a slower engine in a rack five, would be would be nice and devastating. Good to go. All right, buddy. Um, let's get over here and hopefully land that large laser. Ooh, that's actually a nice little hull down position there. Let's get some sensors on this guy firing. Got it. Okay, the laser finally hit. Nice. Good time for it to hit too. I think we're in a position to actually kill all the enemy. Aye, aye. Not often that you can always kill them all, but it's, it's nice when you can. All right, Hunchy. Lousy chance to hit, but we're taking it. And regardless, I think we're running. I think the problem we got uh, really bad recoil. Wonder if I should drop it for a turn. Let's drop our recoil. Yeah, I missed the narc. That's fine. Ooh, what are you shooting at the Ripper? Inner Sphere Standard. Tags. So, it's interesting that they've changed the battle armor up a bit too, right? It's no longer doesn't act like just a mech. It's actually four separate units, Commander. Which is kind of really cool. It's like, I mean, it's how it should have been. Uh, let's not give him the ability to close with us. Get into here. Got it. Arbiters are pretty slow, so I think we'll be fine right here. Get a shot on his side, and we'll leave the sensors on because why not? And a bit more. There we go. Critical hit, Commander. Order. All right. Um, they've only got two left on that side. Once again, let's not close too oh, no too Double close on. to them. Let's just get over here. Generate as much evasion as we possibly can, though. Leave the small X pulse off. Drop a little bit of heat. Ooh, everything hit. Nice. Come on, bail out. Nope. Orders. Be nice if we can get an arbiter out of this. Let's hammer right him way. and see if we can get him to bail him out. Get him to bail out here. Front shot. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the SRMs. Ah. Come on, leave. I think I hit something good. Ah, crap. He goes on 10. When does our vehicle go? Ah, right after. Does he have fire and maneuver? He does not. What now? He does not! Moving to position. This guy needs a little love. Do you think he could give him some? So. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, she's just cleaning up. She's batting in cleanup, and she's doing such a great job smoking mechs. Yep. Batting in cleanup. Here we go. Oh, that guy's running, is he? All right. Full speed. Full speed sounds good. Uh-huh. Is it this guy? No, it's this guy that we see. All right, piercing. Um...
Sure. Ah, uh, he's gone. Wow, this thing is like... That's a kill. Wow. Hunchback for the win, baby. All we gotta do is get some good recoil compensation on this thing now. Looks like it's just the standard left. Commander. Okay, get your ass back to the other side of the map board. Good to go. All right, sit right there. Good to go. You same thing. Get as far as you can go, and then just launch Moving your back. missiles at them. Here you go, boys. Ah, yeah, see? I guess one of the units is destroyed. I'll have a quick look at that in a second. For another shot. Got the Zoria to fire with the indirect and the uh, Talos as well. Mortars incoming! Not if we can kill them this turn, they ain't. Yeah. Um, let's get up here. Oof. Want to make sure we can shoot, though. Let's just walk it up. Get a better chance to hit. A couple percentages, maybe. 8.1. 8 8 .1. Yeah, see, I think one of these guys has been killed. Oh, no, he's almost done. Oh, I see. So they gave the unit basic armor and basic internal structure. So each one of these has weapons, too. So oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Still, like, impossible to kill, but it's a nice little change. I think we go this way. Move order received. All right, we'll fire it all. Ooh, let the uh, medium hit. Nice. I think it was already on an undamaged unit, though. Nice. Systems holding. You shot me in the back, hey. though, you bastard. Okay, let's go. We got what? This is round eight. We got two more rounds to kill this guy. Yeah, baby, we should. That's that's good. We got. Engage. That's a positive win for us. But that hurt. I'm like tempted to um, rush to the junk le leopard to be able to field more units, but I'm hesitant because it just costs so much more. We'd have to have the right units available to us, though. Okay, thumper turret. Waiting for orders. All right, Griff. Just keep plinking him. I'm here. That's like right past the hunchback. Let's not say we did. Let's go over here. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Yeah, knowing me, I put it right in the right square in the back of the hunchback. I mean, it can take it, but still, I don't want it to take it if it doesn't have to. All right, firing. All right. Okay. Didn't expect that. Yes, Commander. He be taser face. I hesitate to get close, but if we can end this now, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm interested to see, though, like, how the damage would spill over if you hit one. If it would spill over onto the others, or... Like, for instance, if you did a lot of damage here and you went through, would it... Or you're hitting each unit individually. I don't know. That's not a good place to be. Uh, can we get... Let's go here. Copy that. Seem to be hitting our own units more frequently and the enemy's doing I the same it. thing. Oh my god, they both hit. What is up with that? Solid connection on that one. Standing by. 
You know what it is? It's because I was like, oh, this hunchback is garbage. Bah. I don't want the rifles. Like, why would you upgrade the rifles? Jesus Christ, they do such a great job. Roger. Nope. Come on, hit him with the thumper. No luck. Thumper him. Nope. Thumper him. Come on. Ah, yep. Yeah. Fine, let me finish him off then. Firing. There we go. Let's go home. One left target. Mission successful. Well, 188,000, that's good. We got several more missions we can pull off before the end of the month, so we should be able to clear our financial report with no problem and maybe get that, uh, Ooh, four parts venom. What are you giving us? Range finder? Who are we working for? Rasselhag? Okay, we gotta take this then. We gotta take the deal. Range finder though, that's not bad. If we don't get our good, a good amount of arbiter parts, that might be actually a really good thing for our mechs to, to have. We'll take that. So there's only two arbiter parts. Oh, we've got three parts already. Oh, well, hello there. We'll take that. Um, heavy rifles. Now, are we looking for, we weren't looking for a basic cockpit. We were looking for sensors. Double heat sink. I dropped that in there for now. PPC capacitor. We don't have any PPCs. So here's the range finders. Recon sensors. Let's drop that in because we were short sensors for the um, hunchback. That'll give us an extra ton. We don't need the fusion core. Now I gotta think about Arbiter. What are we gonna run the Arbiter with? I mean, I must have had a heavy, um, or I should just take two of these. Because we have an AC-10, right? We can put on the Arbiter. <sighs> Let's grab two range finders. Gives us increased gunnery, gives us increased increased sight, which basically allows us to have a better chance to hit. And I wonder if we're going to get enough ripper pieces to, uh... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that guy must have fired and destroyed, like, its own ripper. It would have had to have killed two of them, though, because there was the inner sphere tag. And it must have killed two rippers when it fired. I don't know what the hell it was shooting, though. Bomb rack Inferno. HE bomb rack, probably what happened. I don't know. Okay, two Arbiter pieces, Intersphere. Uh, tag, two Jenner parts, that's nice. Mongoose, two Ripper parts. Alright, uh, armor we're going to probably hold on to. We have one, but if the Arbiters are old, we might need it. Basic cockpit we'll hold on to. The heat sinks, though, I think we can probably sell because we've got 19 of them now. Oh, that only sold it as one? What? That can't be right. Or maybe they changed the prices of stuff. Got an extra range finder. Basic sensors will keep. Standard cooling can go. This can go because we've got enough. The structure can go. So there's a bit of sea bills there. We'll have. Yeah, th there's something weird. Quantity 13. There's something weird going on. That's a lot of ammo. All right, let's have a look at this Arbiter. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, though, when we go to the mech bay is we're going to take a look at this guy. And we're going to click on him, and we're going to go trash, and goodbye. Um, I had an Urban Mech playthrough. We don't need another one. So let's bring this Arbiter forward. Um, have a look. It's going to be nice to have an additional mech, just in case, you know? So let's refit this guy. So well, if something gets trashed, we can, at least we'll have a mech to take down to the surface. And this thing... Oh, it's still got the core. Heavy rifle... So his rifle's in his other arm. Well, that's interesting. Wow, you don't have much, eh? 
One ballistic and three support hard points. Wow. Why did I think... Are you serious? Distracting. Striking fear into the enemies and lowers morale by one in a 210 radius. But why? What is it that you're so afraid of? Like, I don't know. What? What? Had a fluid gun. Well, I mean, it would be a good platform to put the advanced AMS on. I mean, we could put the Ultra 2 in the advanced AMS. Right? And then this thing could just stay back and shoot from a distance. Like, if we go this route... Um, I mean, we're not going to do it now, but this is, like, possibility for the future. Oops, I wanted ammo. Ultra 2 ammo, let's say. We got four tons left over. We need AMS. We probably get a second ton of AMS ammo, which means we got three tons left over. We would need three more heat sinks because... We have to fill it up with this. So with three tons left over, what speed are we at? Four six right now? It doesn't need to be fast, just enough to be able to be in get into position. So I mean, it's not doing a lot of damage. But it's carrying the advanced AMS, which is really important to protect everybody. It's almost a waste of a space. I mean, currently it would be a waste of a space, right? So, I mean, even that urban mech would have had more versatility than this thing. But let's leave it for now. Um, like I said, the urban mech, it's, uh, it's fine leaving that out. Um, let's see what you got here. Clan cockpit. Yeah, so uh, it's fine leaving the urban mech out. Um, just because we, we had that playthrough, we don't need it again. So let's put a rangefinder in here. So the, wait, the clan cockpit is just gunnery, right? Reduces bleeding out by 40%. This has got... Reduces bleeding out by 20%, but better sight distance. Let's go for the sight distance. Yeah, I think we go for the sight distance for now. It's only going to take a day. On it. I'll let you All right, well, step. that's it for today. Uh, I think we're going to end this episode here. All right, we've already made our financial report, so we're looking good here. Um, next time when we come back, we might try that one and a half skull base defense. I haven't decided yet. Um, we'll see how we're doing. I'm going to manage the task a little better to make sure we're back here in time. Three days. Actually, the hunchback needs to go first. Talos Griffin, yeah, so three days and we're back and then um, we can take another mission we've got 26 days before the end of the month we, we should make a fair bit of money yeah, I think we'll be doing we're doing just fine, unless we get of course a bad roll like we got like we had before and then we'll be in trouble but I'm going to end the episode here guys, I hope you enjoyed it if it did, drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time, we'll see you later